Ugly and lovely students, but lovely students. Uh, Jose Antonio, the song is here. Every morning the song is here. Oh, Spanish for Daniela. Okay, so let's just start. Okay, so let's just start with the class today. I want. We are going to do two things. Okay, well, three. Um, we are going to correct. A science homework, we are going to correct English homework from one of you, and then, um, well, um, but before we correct English homework, we're going to play a game, okay? Fifth A versus fifth B, okay? A kind of competition, and then I will tell you about homework, okay? You just have to study, okay? No, not, not activities, not real, real homework, okay? So let's just start. I'm going to. Top uh, stupid comments. Okay, so let's just start. Let's see. I want you all to go to science for science for. Okay, if you don't get, if you don't have it there, doesn't matter. I'm gonna open it for you here. Okay. So let's just start with it. Science for. Here we are. Can you see it properly? Not really good, no? Hmm. Andre, don't talk in Spanish, please. Good morning. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to review the whole unit because on Monday, we are not going to have science. You are going to do, I'm going to send you homework on science uh, on Monday, okay, about science. And then and then we, with that, you will do an exam, okay? Por lo tanto, este fin de semana solo vais a tener que estudiar Science, repasar Science 1, 2 y 3. Y el lunes, en vez de dar clase de Science, os mando un archivo para que hagáis un examen, ¿vale? Y me lo mandéis a ver qué tal sale. Recordad que la nota no vale para la nota, pero sí os vale a vosotros para ver cómo estáis aprendiendo y cómo os habéis esforzado, ¿de acuerdo? Como lo hacéis en casa, pues hacedlo sin leer ni nada. Utilizadlo como examen, examen de verdad. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? Esto que ya me mandasteis entre ayer, hoy por la mañana, que he recibido algún correo, pero no he podido contestar a ninguno ni de los de ayer. Todavía no he podido contestar. Eh, de hecho, estoy esperando una llamada importante, así que quizás en un momento os digo que vayáis haciendo alguna solicitud y ya. Y luego continuamos, ¿vale? Pero lo dicho, hoy tenemos una clase en la que juntamos Inglés y Science. El lunes, os eh, voy a decir, luego lo pongo que los deberes sean estudiar Science 1, 2, and 3 para prepararlo para el examen, ¿ok? 
y, y no Science 5, solo 1, 2, and 3. La 5 ya la hacemos la semana que viene. Y el lunes lo que hacemos es, en vez de dar clase de Science, os dejo esos 45 minutos para que hagáis un examen. Pues como cuando tenemos examen, en vez de dar clase, hacéis el examen. ¿Vale? Así que el lunes haremos inglés. ¿Vale? Y, y, y os mandaré de ver el Present Continuous el lunes para que el martes o el miércoles ya con inglés empecemos el Past Continuous. ¿De acuerdo? Pues vamos allá. Ok, let's, eh, let's review. Eh, activity one. We did it. Ok. Eh, on the break, we don't have break. We just have one class of half an hour today and we finish. Ok. Zumba this afternoon at 6. Esta tarde a las 6. En PE Haste. En Instagram. Eh, tenemos Zumba. De todas maneras, os recuerdo que... Eh, bueno, yo lo hago desde Instagram porque con los niños de cuarto, de, los chicos de cuarto de la ESO, yo sí puedo entrar en Instagram porque tienen más de 14 años. Instagram no es legal para personas de menos de 14 años. Por lo tanto, vuestros padres se pueden hacer Instagram. Yo lo hago para que ellos me sigan, los de cuarto de la ESO, eh, no para que me sigáis vosotros. No es verdad que vosotros no podéis tener Instagram, no es legal. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? ¿Preparados? ¿Ok? So, pues eso, a las 6. Hoy tenemos Zumba. He estado practicando un poquito para meter alguna canción nueva. Y a ver, ahí bailaremos seis canciones, algo así. ¿Vale? Venga, pues vamos a empezar. Ok, so science, activity one. Uh, this activity talks about atoms. Ok, atoms we said that are the smallest particles in matter. Ok, that means there's anything smaller than atoms. Therefore, it's particles. Atoms are made up of three particles. One of them are the electrons. The other one are neutrons, okay, and the other ones are protons, okay? Those particles um, form an atom, but only two of them are in the nucleus. In the nucleus, we find uh, protons and neutrons, okay? Protons have positive charge, neutrons have no charge. And surrounding the nucleus, there are electrons. Electrons have negative charge. As they are surrounding the nucleus, Okay, they jump easily from one atom to another. Okay, this jump, this movement of electrons create electricity. Okay, yes, that's that's that is static electricity because current electricity is when we create when we uh, uh, transfer electricity from in an electric closed circuit. Okay, and we transfer it from one object to another one or from one place to another one. How? For example, through wires. Okay? Yes? So, for example, here we've got on activity two an example of static electricity. Last day, we said uh, this verb is important, wrap. Okay? In the past, we wrapped because it's regular. Okay? Wrap. Okay? To wrap is to move something. Against another thing, okay? Yes. So we are going. Yes, and so, um, Rocio, we are going to correct science for. Okay, I'm going to tell you, uh, Danny. No. Okay. Uh, so um, let's just start with this. So we are. So we talk that these balloons were electrically neutral. Ele what does it mean? Electrically neutral means to have the same number of protons and electrons, okay? So if you have the same number of protons and electrons, you don't have positive or negative charge. You have positive charge if you got more protons than electrons. If you have more electrons than protons, then you, that object has negative charge, okay? Yeah. And if an object has negative charge or positive charge, that means it is electrically charged. Okay, not electrically neutral. Yes, do you understand all these things? Yeah, so let's continue. So we said these two balloons are positively, sorry, are electrically neutral. Okay, but when we, because they have the same number of protons and electrons, and when we wrap them, okay, the balloons are electrically charged because they gain zoom, okay, uh, electrons. So now they have, if they have gain more electrons, they have negative charge, okay, yes, if they are both are negative, this is negative and this is negative, what happens with them, do they attract or do they repel, they repel like magnets, okay, 
So this is what we talked about on the previous lessons, okay? Let's start with the real, real class. Let's correct this activity, okay? The second part of activity two. Okay, look, this balloon is electrically, who can tell me? Electrically what? Look, I think it has the same number of protons and electrons. The same number of protons and electrons. So it is electrically neutral, very good. Okay, after rubbing the balloon against the girl's hair, the electrons move and the balloon gains, okay? The balloon absorbs, let's say, um, electrons. So now the balloon has more electrons here than protons. Yeah, but the hair has more protons than electrons. Yeah. So now, eh, Andrei, es que llevamos ya varios días de clase. Esto no es una clase para ti, solo que tú me vayas diciendo tus problemas. Si tienes cualquier problema, me mandas un correo, cariño. No por aquí, ¿ok? Si no puedes meterte de modo, yo ya he mandado las instrucciones. Tienes el código, es sencillo, ¿vale? Y si no, por correo, no pasa nada. Let's continue. Uh, so, now, the balloon that has more electrons is positively or negatively charged. Negatively. Uh, Oriana so, um, said it negatively. Negativamente, claro, muy bien. But the hair is positively. The hair has more protons and the balloon more electrons. So this is negative and this is positive. This is negatively charged, positively charged. So now, what happens if they have different charges, okay, negative and positive? If you put them in the same magnetic field, what happens with them? They they attract each other. They attract each other, okay, they don't repel, no, they attract, okay, very good, with double T, okay, Lolo, very good, the other one, not a, the first one is the double T, okay, so activity two, it was not an easy activity, and if you understood it, I'm quite happy, okay, quite happy, more than happy, I'm quite happy, okay, I'm really happy with it. Let's go to activity four. Well, we are going to see activity three, but we correct it and it's very easy, okay? I'm going to correct this and I'm going to give you a mark in it model, okay? If you send it to me by Hotmail, I'm going to check it, but I'm not going to give you a mark, okay? Solo doy notas si me lo habéis mandado por el modo, para tener yo ahí un orden. No puedo ir contestando todos los correos, daros una nota, apuntarla, ¿vale? Pero sí que lo revisaré, ¿vale? Que me habéis hecho. Let's continue. So number three, we said this is this image shows a static, static, okay, you go static electricity and this one current electricity. Why? What is the difference between them? Static electricity. Well, we are going to see it here on activity on activity four. So let's read it. Okay. So static. Okay, and current. Okay, one is A. Okay, this is letter. Whoop, this is letter A, and this is letter B. Okay, so let's see. Activity four says match the sentences to the photos in activity three. So we are going to see some definitions or some explanations. Uh, we'll see if they refer to static electricity or to current electricity. Okay, let's see one moment. Mm. Maybe it's not the best projector. But well, so uh, here we are. A form of electricity that doesn't flow. 
Is this a static or is this uh, current? Number one is A or B, static or current. Static or current. Number one is static. Yeah, A. Static. Okay, doesn't flow like rivers. River in the in the rivers, water flows. Okay, on lakes, water doesn't flow. Well, don't uh, water doesn't flow, but and here it doesn't flow too in a static. <clears throat> okay, very good. Let's continue. Number two, the movement of electrical charges. In an electrical conductor, movement of electrical charges. So, what do you think? You say, say one a two a three a. Okay, don't say just a b because if not, if you don't send it me at the exact moment, then I get crazy. Two b. In a moment, only pass the exercise one, two, and three. Ah, so oh, you have to send me everything. Science four. Okay, so yeah, this is B current, okay, because it talks about the movement of electrical charges, okay? Let's continue. Right, number three, we can produce it when we wrap two non-metal objects together. Two non-metal. ¿Por qué non-metal? Porque si fueran metals serían conductores, entonces la electricidad pasaría. Y aquí al no ser metales, ¿de acuerdo? So number three is A, it's a static, okay? Very good, hey, very, 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 very good. Okay, so let's finish the review and then I will ask you if you got any questions, okay? Any doubts about it, the, um, this unit? So let's erase this and let's go to number five, the last one, okay? UOT, send it to me, okay? So send it to me, please. Number five, here we are. It says, read the following sentences. Let's see one moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, more or less, yeah? So it says, Let's, let's see, let's see. Read the following sentences and indicate if they are true, okay, with a T or false with an F. And then you have to correct the false ones, okay? Let's see. Letter A. The movement of protons from one object to another creates electrical current. Do you agree? Number one, true or false? What do you think? Type. You type on the computer. So number one, for most of you, is false. Why? Tell me why. It's false, but I have to correct it here. So tell me, letter A. What's the correct sentence? Tell me the correct sentence. Come on. Letter A. What's the correct sentence for that? The movement. Wow, very good. Another. The movement of electrons. Yeah, that's the key. The movement of no pro not protons. Electrons. from one object to another creates electrical current. Perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now that we have finished number one. Now, wait, I didn't tell you to tell me number two. Okay, now let's do number two or letter, letter B. Huh? Letter B, electrical current can be produced in, an in a closed electrical circuit. Is that true or false? Electrical current can be produced in a closed electrical circuit. That's true. 
Yes. For example, in our houses, we've got a lot of electrical circuits. The one that pow the one that powers the microwave, the one that powers the washing machine, the one that powers your TV. Okay. Yes. They are inside the walls. Okay. There's a circuit. And then they transfer electricity through the wires to, for example, a bulb. And then that bulb projects that light. Uh, letter C. Let's go to letter C. Materials which are resistant to the movement of electrons are called insulators. Is that true? Yes. Is that true? That's true. Very good. Insulators are resistant. Okay, they don't allow or they try not to uh, let the electrons move. Okay, and now let's go to number four, to letter D. Letter D. Rubber and plastic are excellent conductors. Are they good conductors? We are talking about electricity, okay? So are they good electrical conductors? It's true or false? False? Okay, if you say it's false, tell me the correct sentence. We've got different possibilities here, okay? It's false, okay? You're right. But tell me which possibilities we've got here. Write them down. Tell me one of them, at least. For example, Patricia said the first one, okay? Rubber. Okay, and plastic are excellent insulators. Oh, we can say someone said it uh, copper, for example, very good, copper and I oh, sorry in red. Copper and silver. And then the second part of the sentence that was written here are excellent conductors, not insulators. Perfect. So with this, we have, fin we have finished activity five, okay? Now, I want you to ask me for any, any, any of your doubts that you've got on this unit, okay? So now we are um, asking you for questions or doubts about science one, two, and three. Do you have any questions about science one, two, or three? Do you have any doubts about this unit? Something that you don't understand and you need some explanations about it? Or do you understand everything so that you can study it for Monday and then on Monday do an exam? No questions, let's see, no questions, no questions, no, 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 no questions. No, nothing, nothing there. Okay, so let's play a game, let's play a game. Okay, let's start with English. Okay, now we're going to talk about English. Yeah, for 15, 20 minutes. Just, uh, we are going to play one game. These cards I've prepared for you, and that uh, I'm missing one of them. Ah, they are here. Two of them, or three, how many? One, two, three, four. Ah, yeah, here they are. Okay, so what are we going to do? Um, look, Danny, do you really think it can be a Plikas exam? Do you have the plickers papers on your house? And and do you think that I can do I can scan your plickers from here to your house? 
Is that possible? Think about it. Think about it. Come on. And then, right. So, Dani. Dani, tío, solo estás haciendo preguntas que están interrumpiendo la clase. Por favor. Venga, piensa antes de escribir. Es que no puede ser 30 personas escribiendo lo primero que les venga a la cabeza. Ok. So, venga, Danielín. Ok. So, we've got here seven words. Ok, we are going to play a game. Uh, this person cannot play the game. CE, que es Adri, ya no puede jugar al juego. Ok, por faltar el respeto. So, además vamos a borrarlo. Ok. So now, what are we going to do? Ok, in this card we've got seven words. Ok, we are in English now. On English now ok. Remember, for science, you have to study science one, two, and three. Ok? I can write it down here if you want. Study. Science one, science two, and science three. Ok? This for Monday. For Monday. You've got time for that. Ok? We've read it, we've explained it, and today we've corrected some activities about it. So I think you all know it. Okay? Tell me, Axel. No, Axel, no. Uh, Rubén. Um, Andre, if you got any question, you can send me an email, okay? Or I can call you by the phone. That's not a problem. Okay, but not here. Because here we are all reading and we stop the class and everything, okay? If it's very important, Ruben, ask me. Maybe it's a science question. And then we we'll start with English. While Ruben is typing, I can show you the words. So here we've got love. Tipo test, si puede ser, Dani. Puede ser tipo test. Pero bueno, este no lo va a ser. Voy a hacer... En principio no, no lo va a ser, ¿vale? Aunque por el modo haré otro para que practiquéis este fin de semana, pero solo por el modo. El que no... Tenga el modo, no pasa nada. Son simplemente para practicar, que practique a su manera. Ok, que se me está volviendo raro. Ok. Hasta es con H. Uh, well, the words are love. Another one can be quite. Ok. I'm going to explain it to you. Wait. Another word is don't like. Another one is really. Another one is especially. Especially. Another one is hate. Another one is like. So we got the four words. Hate, don't like, like, love to express our hobbies. And then we have um, three adverbs of degree. Okay? Three adverbs of degree. Uh, really, quite, and especially. Okay? Can we start? So what are we going to do? Look. I've got the seven cards, and I'm going to take one. For example, drang, don't like. And you, whenever you see it, you have to type there on the computer, on the comments, a sentence using this word, OK? The first one who writes a correct sentence gives uh, gets a point for his or her class, OK? So we are going to play 5th A, the best class of the world, versus 5th versus B, the second best class of the world. Okay? Yep. Ready? Where's my marker? Ah, oh, here. Here is my black marker. So A, and I write here the points, and B. Okay? As we are the best class, we will start with five points. Well, let's do it like this. Okay, because we've got one extra point for being the most intelligent. Still intelligence. I don't like eating lettuce. Wait, wait, wait. It was an example. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready, ready. It was an example. It was an example. Don't start with that. Ready? So, number one. Ready? Steady. Science, ok. Vamos a hacer una cosa, chicos. Como quizás alguno es un poquito más lento al escribir, 
y me escribe la frase cuando ya estamos con la segunda frase, ¿vale? Eh, ponedme siempre primera frase, ¿vale? One, así que ya ir poniendo el uno para no perder tiempo. Uno y luego la frase, ¿vale? So now, sentence number one. Let's see, we are going to do seven. Ok, let's see who gets more points. So the first one, the first team who reaches four points is the winner. Ok, ready, steady, and then we correct the homework and we finish for today. Ok, ten more minutes. Number one, and the card's going to be... The you have to write a sentence talking about your hobbies number one using the word really come on really 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 let's see who's the first one who writes a perfect sentence sin que el autocorrector fastidia sofia I really like reading. That's the first perfect sentence, pero había dicho que había que poner un uno. So the point is for Marcos. Okay. Basket is not with C, Patricia. Okay. Marcos Vara, I really like eating pizza with the number one. That's the point. And Fontecha. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay. Nora, no, no number one. I cannot accept it. Okay. I really, really, I play football. Danny, mm -mm. I really like or oh, i really love okay dancing i really like read uh, carolina no 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 no. i really like reading y hay con mayúscula marcos lo has escrito con mayúscula tú let's check yes i really like eating pizza perfect sentence so the first point i really watch no i really like watching tv okay i really love playing Okay, but with capital letters. So the first point goes to team A, of course. <laughs> As always. Let's repeat it. Uh, it can be really again, okay? Ready? Number two. So remember, write two and then the sentence. You can write two point or whatever. Love dancing? No, Dara. You have to write a complete sentence. Okay. Ready? Steady. Hmm. Number two, hate. Hate, 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 hate. Come on, 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 come on. I hate doing homework. Perfect, Francisco. Yes, that's the first. I hate. Ah. Hugo, I hate seeing David's face, okay? No, I hate it for she or he. I hate doing homework. I really playing, eh? I really playing white, my cat. Oh, my God. I hate playing football with number two. I, every day, eh? I hate play, oh, Moya. I hate dance. No, I hate dancing. I hate talking with David. I hate eating salmon. I hate eat. No, I hate eating, Paula. Physics. I hate eating pizza. I hate see. No, Carolina. I hate seeing and it's watching, not seeing. Okay. Y con mayúscula, I, I hate reading. Uh, I hate eating. I hate playing with with W I T H. Sofia. Okay. So now the point goes to fifth B. Ready? I hate the homework. Okay, but we want answers. Okay. Uh, say, blah, 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 blah. Actions. Okay, now for sentence, no, I hate do my homework. No, a ver, my es con y, lo empezar. Home is with an e. And then I con mayúscula. Y es doing. I hate doing my homework. I hate doing my homework. I hate working my brain in the morning. Okay. Okay, yeah, the autocorrector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now. Um, For the following sentence, you have to use the subject he. Okay? So number three starts with he. He, you can type it now. He 
3. Chi. Let's see. Chi, chi, chi. <laughs> and the word you have to use is fun with uh, this word quite three three number three he He quite like, no. He quite loves playing perfect. He quite love, no, Patricia, no more, Nora. We need the S because we're talking about he. He is quite doing aim. Uh, he loves playing, no. He quite like, no. He quite the homework, aim. He quite what? He quite doing, no. He quite likes or he quite loves he quite likes playing with you perfect francisco he quite loves playing football perfect olga lopez lopez that is that emma yeah no uh this is he quite loves playing perfect sentence uh ooh, so fast he quite loves okay carolina loves he loves um, sergio he quite hate no hates likes okay Alba, perfect uh, kimberly likes Delia, okay. Uh, he quite, no, 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 Rocio, G, F, B. No, 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 no. He quite likes, no, he quite. He quite likes eating pizza. He quite loves sleeping. Very good, Sofia, even of the, uh, even though the, even though the, your corrector. He quite, no, he quite, no, he quite loves playing. Very good, Patricia, he quite loves reading. Daniel, uh, Eva, uh, uh, Amana, he quite loves playing, okay? Okay, he loves playing the piano quite, and he loves. I hate doing, uh, uh, he quit, run, run. <laughs> okay, so point, Marcos was the first one who said it again. Point for fifth A, okay? Marcos and then Fran were the two. First ones, I think. Let's continue. Ready? Last four. And number four says. Number four. Quite again. Number four, quite. Doesn't matter the subject. Da igual el sujeto. I, you, he, see it. Da igual, pero con quite again. Four, quite. Four, 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 with quite, he quite loves reading, she quite loves doing, she quite likes playing, he quite loves reading, wow, I quite love reading, wow, perfect, I quite love reading, perfect, he quite like playing, he quite likes playing, when likes, he likes, present simple, estamos en el present simple, on Monday we are starting with Person continues. He quite likes it in pizza. I quite do my homework. Arancha Perez, and she quite loves playing. Uy, Sergio Sobrino. He quite loves playing. ING. Shirley, she quite loves dancing. She quite loves playing the guitar with you. He quite loves. He quite, I quite love. Amanda, I quite love playing. Robles, uh, Villa, okay. Ethan. Secretary, yes. I quite like doing meatballs. Okay, Laura, where is number four? I quite study. I. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So, uh, the first one was Nara. So, point for letter team B. Okay, let's go to sentence number five. Uy, no, not again. No, wait. Otra vez ha salido quite. Not again.
Ready? Este me vale. Number five, three, two, five. You can choose the subject you prefer. He, she, it, I, you, we, they. Number five, three, two, one, go. Don't like. Type, 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 type. Don't like. Come on. Let's see. We don't like eating lettuce. Okay, well, don't. Iría con apóstrofe. Así que no lo vamos a hacer. Bueno, venga, lo aceptamos. She don't. No, she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't like dancing with a family. Perfect. I don't like pizza. Okay, it's not an action, but I accept it. I don't like playing a blog. So you can. She don't. No, she doesn't. I don't like pizza. I quite like. No, don't like. She doesn't like. She don't. Okay, she don't like. We don't like eating. I don't like dancing, but it's perfect. I don't like dancing. I don't like doing my homework. Okay, I don't like pizza. Okay, but try to use actions. I don't like play football. Nah, Carolina, I, I con mayúscula para empezar. Don't like playing football. I don't like doing the homework. I with capital letters, please. I don't like doing the homework. The director. They don't like football. They don't like reading books. Perfect. Okay, perfect, Lolo. She don't, no, she doesn't like playing the piano, man. I don't like studying, halva, ing, she don't like pizza, oh no, she, I don't like preparing a pizza, okay? Actions, actions. Let's continue. So, oh, I don't remember who was the first one, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. We don't like eating lettuce. Uh, crazy one. Okay, so point for fifth B. If fifth B wins number six, they are the winners. Okay, come on, fifth A. Ready? Number six is lost. Love, 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 love. I love reading the book. I love playing the guitar. I love you. I love you too. Bueno, David Sánchez, ya te voy a bloquear porque si vas a hacer el tonto, para eso, como has hecho el resto de días, no hace falta ni venir a clase. Eh... I love playing the piano. No, I love playing. I love the beat. No, pero Andrei, es que estamos usando ING. The verb on ING. I love playing. Uh, he loves cooking. He loves. I love dancing with my mother. I love eating. I love riding uh, riding horses. Okay. Not riding horse, but perfect. I love you. Andrei, uh, no. Es que, uh, yo creo que no has estado viendo los deberes estos días. No hemos practicado ahí, ¿verdad? I love swimming, okay, in a pool, okay, but with capital letter the I, I love eating pizza. Six, I love, okay. Okay, I love going to the park. He loves cooking, I love preparing pizza. I love reading, we love playing the piano, okay, yeah, or playing the violin, like Patricia. Okay, the first one was Kimberly, okay, the sentence was not, uh, was not uh, completely, completely exact, because it was, I love reading the book. Okay, we can accept it, but I think that a better sentence will be, I love reading books. Okay, well, we accept it. I love the face, David's face. Jose Antonio, there is not a verb. We need a verb. I love seeing David's face, for example. Okay, so it's point for fifth A. We are tied. We've got a tie, three, three. So the one who answers the first one wins. And I'm going to choose the word. I'm going to choose it. Photocopy face. Okay, and now the last one, number seven. You have to write a sentence. Okay, for number seven, you have to write a sentence using she. Okay, 
C and the word you have to use is number seven, C, specially, specially. Come on, type fifth A, come on, we have to win. Come on, Ruben, no, specially. Oh my God, C is specially. Playing A? No. She especially loves doing the homework. She especially loves eating salad. She especially like, no, likes playing the piano. She especially loves playing with toys. Perfect. She especially doing A. She especially likes doing the homework. Or she especially hates. Or she especially doesn't like, I'm not especially, especially double L. She especially loves sleeping. She especially loves reading books. She especially loves eating pizza. She especially loves dancing, etc., etc., etc. Oh, too fast. Okay, and the point is to Hugo T. So that point goes, it goes for, it's point for Hugo T. So she especially likes Claudio. The winner class is letter B, but as I ha especially hate them, that's a tie. Okay, so three all, and it's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'm going to show you just one thing in the model and we finish, okay? So let's turn on the projector. And let's see, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to show you my model. Okay. And here it says, for example, Loriana, activity three. Here. Okay. Vamos a ver quién lo ha subido al modo, ¿vale? Vamos a hacer una prueba. Uh, let's see. Uy. Por ejemplo, Francisco Venegas, Marcos, Hugo Turegano, Rubén, Emma Ruiz, Sergio, Alba Quesada, Daniel, vamos, Paula, Patricia Pardo, Hugo Caña, Nora, Yusef, Eva, Hugo, Carolina, Adrián, Rocío García Vélez y Andrea Fontecha. Todos esos me lo han mandado. Perfecto dentro de la asignación, ¿vale? Eso os lo han hecho, perfecto. El resto probablemente me lo habéis mandado, pero no me lo habéis mandado donde tiene que ser, ¿vale? Recordad que hay que hacerlo en asignaciones. Hice un vídeo de tres minutos para, para, para explicaroslo, ¿vale? Lo tenéis ahí en mi canal. También me han mandado 16 mensajes privados, así que supongo que mucha gente me lo ha debido mandar por mensaje privado, pero no me lo mandéis por ahí, ¿vale? Y sobre todo, me lo mandéis en el... En el muro, digamos, en donde aparecen todos los comentarios para que no lo vea el resto de gente. Son vuestros deberes, son privados. ¿Vale? Sí. Deberes de inglés. Por ejemplo, Celia Maravilla me la debía mandar por aquí. ¿Vale? Ahí están los de Science. Y los de deberes de inglés, yo creo que me lo ha hecho bien. Bueno, ya miraré. ¿Vale? Tac, 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 tac. Luego aquí, uy. ¿Vale? Entonces, bueno, ya leeré ahí los mensajes porque quizás son privados, privados. Adam me lo ha mandado por aquí. Ah, no, ahora me lo ha mandado por el, por, el, por el muro, ¿de acuerdo? Por donde están todos los comentarios, ¿vale? No, no me lo mandéis por ahí. Siempre intenta mandármelo en asignación que os sale. Aquí os salen como todos los comentarios y aquí os pone como asignaciones. Tareas que hay que mandar. Pincháis y ahí os sale, ¿vale? Nada más. Eh, para este fin de semana lo que quiero es que... Lo que quiero es que vayáis estudiando Science para el lunes hacer un examen, ¿vale? 
Eh, os pongo por el modo uno tipo test, como que podría ser tipo clickers, que yo creo que es lo que me has dicho Dani que se refería. Muy bien. Pues sí, uno así para practicar, lo pongo por el modo. El que no tenga el modo no pasa nada, que lo voy a practicar por su cuenta. No pasa nada. Y, y luego lo que hago es eh, el lunes a las 10 de la mañana, os mando, antes de que empecemos la clase de inglés, o 10 y media, os subo el examen de, de Shiner para que después de la clase de inglés pues, os pongáis a hacerlo. Y me lo mandéis el, el lunes por la tarde, ¿vale? Bien por correo o bien por el modo. Lo pondré como, como a la asignación, la llamaré examen science electricity, ¿vale? No, examen science project form y ya está, ¿vale? Pues nos vemos esta tarde a las 6, el que quiera, con un poco de zumba. Ahora tengo que ponerme a practicar. Tengo que solucionar las cosillas y luego ponerme a practicarlo. Que me faltan dos canciones todavía por practicar. Y a las 6, el que quiera bailar adelante, bienvenido es. Y si no, nos vemos el lunes, que ya es viernes, fin de semana. ¿De acuerdo? Descansad, sed buenos, escribidme si tenéis cualquier problema. Y nos vemos el lunes. Bye, bye, ugly, but lovely students.